Bom dia, bom dia, boa noite, boa tarde, wherever you may be. Welcome to live chat, the Capoeira Talk. Um, it's going to be episode 8, so welcome all. Um, people are joining the chats, really cool. Um, Master is also online, and... Yeah, message online. So first of all, I'm gonna send you an invite in a minute, Nasty. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be episode nine uh, with uh, the Capoeira Talk live chat with Nasty Tabora. Uh, really honored and grateful that uh, he's willing to do this with me, and uh, I'm really curious about his story, about his perspectives, and uh, let's invite him. Come la Nasty. E Galan Cirilo. <laughs> thank you, thank you all, thank you all. I'm gonna try to invite Nasty. Nasty. Let's see if this works. There he is. Olá, meu querido. Olá. O telefone vai ficar assim, né? Assim, ah, yes. Tá bom, deixa eu mudar de cadeira aqui. How are you, professor Espírito? I'm doing fine. I'm doing really well. Awesome. How are you, Espírito do bem. Espírito do bem. Isso. Espera aí, deixa eu fazer um arrangement aqui. Yes. Isso. No é rapidinho. No Sorry problem. about that. Take your time, take your time. We're good, we're good. Yes. Time is precious, time is yes. precious. Yes. <laughs> I prefer to be, I prefer to be using, using my time with you than work with my phone. <laughs> All right, I think it's better now. I think it's really, How are you? Pretty good, man. I'm doing, doing really fine. Um, like, again, really honored and thanks that you are willing to do this, my man. Really cool, really cool. <laughs> don't mention it, don't mention it. Nice. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. I really uh, I appreciate every opportunity, and this is a great opportunity. So I appreciate you uh, picking me among thousands of thousands of people who are <laughs> way way ahead of me. So appreciate. <laughs> yeah, because I uh, I followed you your work quite a while ago. You know, even before all the social media. I've seen, watched old videos of you. I remember you, the first time I saw you, a video of you, you had a really big, bushy, long hair, you remember? <laughs> I'd always find, uh, man, this guy looks cool, man. And, uh, you know, in the time with uh, Ashe with Ashe, and, uh, you know, it's like, ah, man, it's like, who is this guy? So I looked you up back in the days, and now we're here, now we're chatting together, man. Now we're talking together. It's so awesome. surreal how easy it's is is going now with the social media with the technology yeah, yeah. it's so easy yeah. so cool so cool yeah so uh yeah so basically what i'm doing now is uh trying to gain more knowledge learn about stories about capoeira in general uh capoeira experience capoeira talking to mass these teachers all over the world to connect with people reconnect with people making friends and do something for the community, capoeira communities, you know, to, you know, to represent yourself because uh, not everyone knows each other. And I think it's, it's quite a good way to, you know, put yourself on the map. Uh, who is Mess Recruta? Who is Messi Tabora? All those kind of stuff, you know, and I also teach my students, you know, go out there, search for knowledge about capoeira. And that's also why I'm doing this, but also for my personal gain, because I really love to, learn about stories about capoeira and what people have to talk uh, have to you know to talk about and that's why one of the reasons that i also want to talk with you uh you know how how your upbringing was in capoeira and all this kind of stuff yes yes i think uh you know i'll wait for your questions but i think this is a great approach uh in general the uh global the global capoeira community needs to be uh, 
tighter together. We need to really know each other, know more people, uh, and develop a sense of belonging. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm beyond the group thing, the, the banner. I think it's important. Of course, it's important. Mm -hmm. But what I talk about all the time, you know, a lot of people are like already tired the way they talk about it. But it's like your group is your house. Yeah. Okay, your group, you live in a neighborhood, house 24, Giga da Alma, house 38, Capura Brasil, mm -hmm. and UCA, so on and so forth. Great. Take care of your house. But I think more important is that you take care of the neighborhood. You know, and make mm -hmm. sure that the, the, the trash has been picked up. If not, let's talk to the, to the city, to the mayor. Let's make sure the, the, the streets are, are clean. Let's make yes. sure there's lights on the streets for everybody. Yeah. Let's say... Let's let let's make sure the the sewage is not the the, the pipes are not broken. Mm -hmm. That benefits the whole the whole neighborhood, not just like oh I'm gonna focus on my house. I don't care about everybody else. So I think we're still crawling compared to other art forms. This kind of maturity coming from outside, people like you and many many others, especially from outside. We need to bring this community together. Because together we develop a sense of belonging, yeah. regardless of groups, of style. The love is the same for the art. Exactly. But anyways, I'm sorry. Yeah, but yeah, I totally agree. And it's a nice, nice perspective because it's a big community and it's not about your own house, but it's about doing things together. And uh, it's not about competition, not at all. It's trying to work with each other. And work together to make the bond really strong. Correct. That's a, that, Correct. Yeah, that's I. That's what that's what I believe in. You know. Good, good. I think if you have that, I think this is the right approach. And if you have that belief, I think that's what Capoeira wants. Yeah. You know, I know this is gonna sound crazy to a lot of people here, but I Capoeira talks to me. I came to a point in my life where I, I surrendered completely years ago. I surrendered. To the mm -hmm. arts like look i belong to you yeah. guide me yeah as opposed to like no my way of playing is better my group is better mine it's not about mine not about me it's about all of us any brother or sister who does capoeira is part of my family so so capoeira talks to me and capoeira is guiding me so i think the 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 idea is that we, we we're not competing against each other no. the game the game is the minimal part, but the game is not also a competition between the spirit and myself. It's my technique against your technique. Let's yeah. play, let's see what happens. You know, yeah, you take yeah. me down, you take me down, great job, Voto Mundo, I'll try again. It doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's, a, it's just a game, mm -hmm. you know? But, but I think there's something deeper than that, which is the, the really uh, understanding of the fundamentals, the essence of the art form. Once people understand that's a big, big piece of the pie. We will respect each other more yeah. because you are capoeira. That's what matters to me. You are capoeira. So, so we have an identity. We have a sense of belonging. Really true. Really true. And I think more people should, should know that and work with that you know, philosophy instead of uh, doing this all the time clashing and prove themselves who's better or in the game they're you know fighting because their felt feels like competition but I like come on this for me that's not capoeira at all where's the community where's the community where is the the love for the art it's, nowadays sometimes you see videos uh, on social media about okay the really hard games of capoeira but I respect hard games but in in context you know but I do not respect those kind of games for attention. For look at me, I throw this guy on the ground and tr start to pummel him down and or grab the beating ball from the battery and smash the guy. So, and the people on the comments are like, yeah, he's so capoeira, that's capoeira. So to me, that's not capoeira. It's more like, sorry for my story, ego, just fucking egos, man, like, come on. It's 100% ego, it's, it's the yeah. immaturity, it's immaturity. It's about themselves. Yeah. It's about using the Hoda as a stage to present themselves. Oh, look at me, look at me. I'm tough on this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to beat up everybody here. Uh -huh. Look at me, look at me. The, 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 the problem that I have is spirit, is spiritual, that I see a lot. And I, and I think, I, I hope the new generation can, can change that. 
because the, the capoeira, if, if, the, if the leaders are not careful, if they not have maturity, then forget about it. They're going to nurture the me aspect. They're going to yeah. uh, uh, send their students to fight, to bring name from him or mm -hmm. to his group. That's a big problem. But the, the thing is, we, I think the leaders have to be careful because capoeira, uh, the way some people see it, I go in the middle, you know, I take my shirts off, I show my muscle, I'm going to beat up somebody. It, it, it has yeah. a tendency. Yeah. It's a, it, look, I think capoeira, capoeira has so many beautiful elements. And this element is beautiful because it's a test to our ego. It, it facilitates, exactly. it's a temptation. It's a temptation. Don't grab yeah. the apple. Do not grab exactly. the apple. Oh, you grab the <laughs> apple. Forget about it. Because yeah. the point is saying, the point is, uh, it has no limit. It, with that attitude, because it facilitates, Capoeira facilitates also the exposure of the ego. Yes. It, it's a tricky thing. It, it's a temptation. It's, it's, it's a way to test the teachers and the students. Don't, don't, don't buy the apple. Mm. Stay mm. cool, stay humble, play, make a new friend, facilitate the game to others. Let me show people play, not only it's about you. It's not about you, your group, your Mia Lu, your Martello. No, please. You're wasting uh, a, a great opportunity now of, of making a new friend mm. or making mm. a beginner excited yes. about Capoeira. You're yeah. doing the opposite. You, 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 you're keeping away a potential student that maybe Capoeira is going to change her life or his life because Capoeira has this power to do that. But because you are self-centered self, you act so stupid, so stupid that you kept away at that person. Mm -hmm. And that person going to do something else, go do yoga and whatever. Yeah. So there's so many elements in Capoeira that's part of Capoeira, but it's not because of Capoeira, it's part of Capoeira. We have to accept and nurture it because mm -hmm. it's spiritual. Where there is people, there is problems. Anywhere you go, there's problems. But the leaders have to develop a, a spiritual maturity to say what is this all this art all about? Yeah. It's not about take your shirt off, me, 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 I'm gonna no, that's about you, your insecurities, mm -hmm. uh, your ego. Yeah. Something is lacking in your development. Because it's not about that. And I'm gonna continue a little bit more, I'm sorry. No, no, go. Also, when people don't bring the attention, and I think Capor Angola in general, not a specific group, the concept of Capor Angola or, or of, of contemplating and respecting the bateria, that's a big, big part of you connecting with yes. ancestors, mm -hmm. of understanding the essence of Capoeira. You don't need to be an Angolero to do that. It's just teach your students to always salute the Birimbao, respect the bateria, get the energy from the bateria, show respect, because there is a connection that the, 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 the players are trying to make to a higher level, so it facilitates the energy of the harder. So I'm sorry. No, continue. Just, I totally agree because that's how I raised with Capoeira, you know, to, to have to connect connection with the ancestrals. What you are on the, on the bed beating bow? Why are you? Why are you there? Or you touch the beating bow? You greeting for respect, and then you enter the game. But I say I feel that nowadays with so many. Uh, and I'm, I'm also one of them. So many non-Brazilian teachers, some are losing that aspect or not, or they are not, you know, um, they've not learned, learned that process. Um, I've learned the process, but I can be totally honest. Sometimes I also forget to talk about that aspect to my students. So I say, oh, hey, wait, I, I had that, you know, you know, squat that bit in bow, wait for the sign. You can touch the bit in bow, you can greet whatever you want, but then you start, to a playing, but I think it's really important to um, to get it out there again for our the new capoeiras, but also for the old generation. For you know, this is always how uh, how it was. So I agree. Yeah, I think things are going very fast, spiritually, mm -hmm. in society. Yeah, yeah, super fast. So people come to class. If the leader is not careful, he or she will continue the speed from outside. 
So let's say they teach the class and then roda, roda, roda. Quer dizer, brimbal. Chin, down, down, chin, down, down. And just people, ah, and people jump in. And people pay 10 seconds. I mean, seriously, probably have seen, I'm sure you have seen it. Yeah. But start paying more attention. Yeah. You're going to see a harder for a lot of people, a lot of games. But each game, 10 seconds, 15 yeah. seconds, That's, seconds. Yeah. Yeah. But people want to buy. They want to buy. They want to buy. So they bring the, the anxiety from outside mm -hmm. to, a, to a temple. No matter what you teach, it's your temple. Yeah. So if the leader is not careful, it's this, uh, this anxiety. Buy the game. Buy the game. Buy the game. And there's no stop for that. So there's no connection in a form of respect to the bateria. Mm -hmm. Or guess what? It's like I have two dogs here. They're here now. If I open the door, hey, they're going to go out and, and disappear chasing exactly. squirrels and cats. We need to bring people to, to the understanding. Okay, class is over now. The physical part is over. Get some water. <sighs> Let's see it. Yeah. Let's yes. build up the battery structure. Close your eyes. Feel the rhythm. Feel the talkies. Contigue starts. It's time to relax now. Now let's go and play some games. But don't let this jump. So there's no transition from the traffic, from people in line cutting in front of you, <laughs> from the, the fastest cell phone. Everything's fast. Fast is better. Yeah. They come to a Capona class and they keep that, that, that mold from outside. Yeah. The leaders have to change that. So no, mm. no, 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 wait. Now we, we did a physical, because Capona is so complete. Yes. It's so complete. Yeah. You did the physical part. Now I'm going to the spiritual part. No religion. Spirituality is one thing. Religion is something else. Yeah. Now, let's develop the battery. Make sure you have a structure. Be involved. A gunga that plays this. Whatever the structure is. Yeah. You guys can either sit or stand up. But listen. Allow yourselves now to mm -hmm. feel the notation or notations of all the instruments. Yeah. Let that take you to a different place. Let the singing come. And then you're going to feel something. Now let's play the game and make sure we don't, we don't buy. Just wait. Just let. Yeah. I, I also feel like I told you earlier, Capoeira has some elements to, to, lead, to really uh, feed the ego of the person. So when I see people, they come to, sometimes they, they come for the bathroom or they, they check their bags. There's a game going on. They buy right away. There's yeah. no respect. Yeah. To that process, let those people talk. Mm -hmm. Let them talk about their body. Let them develop exactly. a game. If yeah. you watch, you learn a lot. It doesn't matter who is playing. It can be a beginner. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, I remember doing that. Wow, the man almost got him. Blah, blah, blah. It's, like, it's interesting to see the development because maybe you were there. Maybe you were now. You know, but yeah. don't cut. It's like we're talking. Somebody comes in. Hey, I saw you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm talking just, to yeah, just here. Exactly, just wait. Just wait. Yeah. Respect this process. This conversation now is important. Yeah. If you listen, you will learn. In other words, if you watch, you're going to yeah. learn something. Yeah. Wait for your time to buy. It's so out of respect. It's, it's so disrespectful mm -hmm. when people buy. Buy. But say, well, I train a lot. I took a, 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 a 45 minute physical class or one hour. Mm. Now I want to apply what Professor Espirito showed me. But you bought my game after 10 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So people are losing that connection, yeah. losing that understanding. Everything's fast, fast, fast. Guys, it's not about being goleiro or vadiador. It's not. It's about respecting, separate yourself from, from your daily life outside mm -hmm. when you come to the temple. Because this is what I see, Spiritu. Yeah. You know, you go to a church, it's a temple. You go to a synagogue, it's a temple. You go to a mesquita, mm -hmm. to a mosque, it's a temple. You come to a Capora Hall, it's a temple. Mm -hmm. That's how I connect with my friends, with the spirituality, with the ancestors. I sing, I feel the rhythm, I feel the beating ball. That's my thing. Yeah. So learn how to do that. Or, or, or relearn. Yeah. Sorry, I, I keep going no. forever. Sorry. Oh, I'm I'm happy to hear this kind of stuff because it's it's really helpful. It's really good to hear it because uh, like I said, people some sometimes people forget it, and we live now in society. Everything has to be fast, 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 fast. You know, and uh, look at me, look at me, look at me. And I always say also to my in my classes, 
when you go outside, when you go to a, another harder, uh, don't jump, don't jump in. Just, you know, uh, scan the environment, listen to the batteria. What kind of rhythms are they playing? What kind of jokes are they playing? Don't jump in because people are tend to jump in and they are the same people complaining that they get kicked in the face by Martel or get a hashtag. Yeah, but yes, you should listen to what's going on. Listen to the conversation that you said. Let's go to the, to the conversation. Learn the body language of the, those players, uh, what kind of game they're playing, and then ask permission to jump in instead of just jump in because, I don't know, but you, you want feel to. like, because, exactly. And because it's all of, it's because all is about, about you. That's not how it works, you know? It's the one rule that I learn my students. If, if you go outside, scan the environment first, be chill, relax, and ask for permission. If you know the group, just do your thing. But if you're not familiar with the group, just watch first and listen. It's really important. That's I learned the hard way as well. I was the guy back in the day. I was so uh, enthusiastic, and I went for, to the first Batizado, outside my own Batizado as a guest, and I just jumped in harder with no contest, just throwing <laughs> kicks, blah, blah, blah. I get my tail back in the, in the other horse to fight Hashtag, etc. And I was, I was angry, you know, I was angry, you know. And my master says, yeah, but spiritual. You didn't, you didn't listen, you didn't watch the game, you didn't you represent yourself. It was all about you. And I, I learned the hard way. And so just, yeah, you're right, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you're he, right. He, he, he was right, you know. You have, I, I, I say the same thing. You, you, I, I, where I live now, I mean, what I live, what I live now, what I live uh, is a beautiful place, Spiritu. There's so much Capoeira yeah. here. It's the I, best, I heard the it. best yeah. area in the whole country, yeah. Bay Area. So even though, even though it's, it's our, uh, you know, environment here, we have Master Aldo, Shipa, Buhasha, many, many great players. Yeah. We, have the, we have like four major hotels, even though I'm from here, and I know everybody. I still approach each other carefully. I, yes. I, I not scared with respect. I need mm -hmm. to see if I get late, especially if I get late. When I yeah. get late to harder, I just watch. What's, I want to feel what's going on. If there's a new player, what is the master singing there on the beating bar? What rhythm they're playing? Mm -hmm. How the game is being developed? Well, that guy right there buys the game all the time, and he likes to grab people's legs. So I watch everything. So I, yeah. when I go in, I'm more prepared. It's like when I go to people's house, you know, I, 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 I pay attention where people, if they want to use that sink or, you know, the owners, you know, people invite me in, I see how, you know, what the chair they use and you take your shoes off in a certain area of the, of the, at the door. Yeah. So I pay attention, you have to pay attention so you don't make yes. a mistake. And sometimes a mistake can cost you something, yeah. you know, yeah. or maybe not even physically, people can stop the hot gate. They can maybe humiliate you. Who are you? Mm -hmm. How come you come here and buy from everywhere? Or... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's sometimes how it goes. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. And that's why yeah. it's really important that people are, you know, be more aware and cognizant about the fact that it's not all about yourself. It's about contributing to the whole community and giving your energy to capoeira, you know, and not only for yourself. Because you cannot play capoeira by your own. You're oh. playing capoeira with... Somebody else, you know, yeah. it's really important. And, and within, this, within this concept, Espiritu, you, you have to really, you know, it's about the community. It's not about me. That means, you know, compromise. Yeah. You learn how to compromise, you know, for the community. I'm not going to play today. I'm going to play the instrument only because I want to I help. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe maybe the battery is a little weak. Maybe you feel like you can have a, a, a good hand of the the pandeiro or something that you know you're going to contribute. You can contribute in so many ways. Yeah. You can contribute, but not buying a lot. <laughs> you're contributing. <laughs> you know, clapping hands, singing with your heart, yeah. helping somebody to fix the clapping because sometimes you have seen that as well. Mm -hmm. it's a, it can be a minor detail, but I see, you know, uh, in, in many capoeira where the bateria structure is from Angola lineage, you know, they play Sobeto Grande, so many in Angola and people. Yeah. So I go there and go, I try to go. Bah, 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 bah. So bah, bah. there's so yeah. many ways you can contribute to, to a capoeira harder that is not about you being in the middle. Because actually, you being in the middle all the time, you're not contributing. No. You, you may be making.
you people comfortable, you may become obnoxious, people don't invite you anymore, exactly. and, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. It's just, yeah. you know, this, this, I think people have to develop that maturity. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many ways you can contribute to your community without being on the spotlight all the time. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree. How, how was it back then when you started Capoeira in the 70s, you know, in, was in Senzala time, right? With uh, Camisa and uh, how you compare Capoeira back then uh, and now with days? Spiritual, good question, because I think there was more enjoyment, a, a true enjoyment of playing a Capoeira game before, you know, mm -hmm. we, because there's no, there's no pressure from society about speed. True. True. You yeah. know, in some ways you're really laid back, you know, people go to work, people go to school, and then you go to the beach, whatever, and you come and you play Capoeira. It's, yeah. It was much more organic. You know, you had the satisfaction of going to a capoeira class. Mm -hmm. And then on the weekends, we went to the suburbio do Rio de Janeiro, Rocha Miranda, Coelho Neto, Caxias. And we, wanna, we went there to play capoeira yeah. and not, I mean, we knew we were going to face player A or player B. There's, there's not, not, not about groups. Mm -hmm. It's usually player A and player B and player C. Hulk, né, Messi Hulk, uhum. Amarelinho, Paulinho Godoy, é, Chocolate, Paulinho Malandro. So it's like, oh my God, Amarelinho is here today, oh mama. You know, Messi Corvinho is here today, things will be hot. Yeah. So yeah. it's more, was more capoeira, the capoeira, I'm going to say capoeira the person, right? Yeah. Well, it was more the capoeira person with the other capoeira person, you know, but there was so much enjoyment, you know, there were tough games and there was like, my God, Messi Beisola, Roda da Penha, amazing times. Yeah. But I think in the 90s, late 80s, beginning of 90s, the group situation became the main thing. Yeah. And then the, group, the groups are growing. Mm -hmm. The groups are, so the groups became the yeah. thing. So then people went to Capora Rodas representing the that group. group. And the yeah. leaders go like, no, 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 don't. Don't let people beat you up because we're group such and such. Our group is strong. So it became this, this confrontation. Yeah. It took away the magic of facing another capoeira player and you didn't have to fight. But if the energy went that direction, you could fight, no problem, because there's no repercussion. Mm -hmm. After that, shake your hands, Grab go beer. out to have beer and feijoada yeah. after work in Pagode. Yeah. <laughs> very, very common. But there was the group thing, and then there was like, you go to Capora Hall, you see somebody with the, 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 the symbol right here, oh, this guy's from group such, such and such. You know, get ready, man, don't let him, and just, it changed, yeah. it changed. So you, you, you go to Capora Hall, prepared not to enjoy the bateria, the singing, not to enjoy the ritual. You went to Capora Hall, prepared to fight, mm -hmm. because group such and such, would be there. This other group is going to show up. This other, so group, group, group. Yeah. And then there came a point where people like, they didn't introduce themselves. My name is Itaborá, Professor Espírito, prazer te conhecer. No, I'm group, I'm from group of such and such. That's you know, what's your group? Yeah. Oh, I'm a group. So nobody care about mm -hmm. meeting the capoeirista anymore. So I think there's a, a big problem that led to more of the contemplation, it changed to the contemplation to the master. Oh, the master, yeah. my master. Oh my God. And so people are, people are forgetting that the, the bridge that should be contemplated so you can reach a state uh, where you reach the essence of the art is the bateria. But that yeah. was forgotten. It's almost like two elements. We have the harder here. People mm -hmm. playing, 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 and the bateria here, a separate thing, uh -huh. just making noise. Okay. Ching dong dong, yeah. ching dong dong, ching dong dong. There's no connection. No, no. People buying from everywhere. Exactly. You know, so I think the group is spiritual. From, where, from the time I started, the group process of growing to, into big corporations, mm -hmm. some groups became corporations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, have, they have branches all yeah. over the world. They have a yeah. system of changing uh, annual membership, and, you know, you have to set up seminars and just like 
that changed the field and that fed more the ego of certain players. Yeah. The Messi is, is putting more uh, uh, attention and more emphasis to, to the player that's more athletic to the player that likes to fight, mm -hmm. to the player has the potential to be a great solo player. It's like, yeah. So I think that it was, a, was a, an escalation, Espiritu, that took us to this place. But I'm hopeful with, with a lot of young minds that things will change, Thanks, the yeah. group thing will, will, will settle. Yeah. You know, I'm not here for the group. I'm here to meet my friend Espiritu Hey, let's have a game. Let's play. Yeah. Let's let's enjoy yeah. this game. You know, and if you get, you get. It's part of the game. It's like playing soccer. I'm not going to give the ball to you. Here's the ball. And, and <laughs> kick to the goal and score yeah. to the team. No, we're yeah. going gonna to dribble. We're going to yeah. dribble. We're going to go here and there. But not like I want to kill it because you're the group such and such. Exactly. You know? So going back to your question, I have my own holder, uh, a Gloria. Gloria is a neighborhood very close to Lapa. Mm -hmm. I had my own holder, and, and people came to my holder, and... I never saw groups. So, oh, Messi Beisol is here. So, oh my God, today's gonna be hot. Yeah. Messi Pauline Bordeaux is here. Oh my God, what, what am I gonna do? You know. So yeah. then I hold hold up a pen, hold up a pen, and then shows up Messi Hook. Oh my God, Messi Hook is here. <laughs> <laughs> Messi Toro. Oh, oh my, my God, God, Messi Toro. You know. Yeah, it's always like, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Harajuku Caxias, Messi uh, uh, the the Fica Messi Cobrinha, Cobrinha is there. Yeah. Yeah. And Messi Linguini Mohashin is there. And we're like, uh, Russo. Oh my God, mm -hmm. what's going to happen? Gonna, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to go, I don't know if I'm going to go back home in one piece. <laughs> but, but in the 90s, is this, is armies of Capoeira players representing a group. Mm -hmm. And people are fighting for no reason. So the violence was escalated to a point where like, what do we do now? Yeah. I'm going to come to a hoda with a gun? Because it escalated for no reason, just because my group, I'll make sure my group is better than your group. Yeah. So the other Messi, with his ego way, way up, and everybody contemplating the Messi, and forget about the essence of Capoeira, and then became worse. Because yeah. then my Messi, this Messi goes, no, 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 no. If a group such and such shows up, you guys fight hard. So mm. 90s, for me, was a big mess. And then it kind of lingered into the 2000, but I yeah. think things are changing, you know, mm -hmm. and what you said in the beginning about this technology, because now you are in Netherlands, I'm here in Oakland, yeah. and we communicate, you know, yeah. amazing. <laughs> so I think, the, I think the pandemic put a little break on this, ah, because then yeah. people realize, my God, you what know, we, I met. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, I met I met with Spirit. What a great conversation. I met Gugu Kilobola. I, you know, so we had access mm -hmm. to a lot of people. People having access to different classes that they couldn't take it before. For two reasons. Maybe people are far yeah. away. Yeah. Maybe you're mastery. What the water? You're gonna take a class from Spirit? Yeah, Spirit's gonna be here in Los Angeles. I'm gonna, no, don't take a class with Spirit. But now mm -hmm. without him knowing. I can go online if you teach a Zoom class on yeah. my day, or my kitchen, you know. So I think that unfortunate, unfortunate, it affected millions of people all over the world. Mm -hmm. But it somehow opened the minds, brought different perspectives yeah. to the Kapoor world. Yeah. So I developed a friendship, a great friendship with Gugu Kilomba. I, I, I cool. love him. I just love yeah. him. So like this, well, when we met him in person, it's like, yeah, it's like yeah, I knew yeah. him for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's great, right? It's really great. Yeah. And I think we need more love. We need more respect. Yeah. We need to, to just, you know, if, 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 if your group philosophy is based on a personal ideology of your mastery, forget about it. Yeah. Kapoor is bigger than that. Yeah. Kapoor is this. Kapoor is connection. We need each other. Yeah. Not only to play, we need each other to support each other. Really? Sorry, yes. I, 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 go I no, don't don't apologize. I really uh, I really soak it all in because that's why I'm that's why I'm here. <laughs> you know, to learn from you, to learn from your stories, you know, and it's really important. Um 
we are, you, you're also busy with your uh, have lost choice now your your videos on on instagram about you talking about different topics in, in capoeira and there was one thing i want to talk about you with uh apelidos nicknames and what your you know yeah what's your meaning of apelidos now with days i know you you made a video about that yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I, know I wanted to, to to elaborate if you want uh and, and, and if you have any tips for new teachers that are non-brazilian that are not so steeped in the brazilian culture what they have to do to give a, a good name to uh, caprice because me personally i really like to spend time to give a name i'm not that kind of guy that you know oh he or she is so cool or that that word is so cool. I will give him that. You know, so no, I'm. Sometimes it takes several months. Sometimes it take gonna take a yeah. year. Yeah. Sometimes I have, uh, but sometimes I have a click with a with a, with a student, and I know immediately. Oh, that's the that's the name. But that's rare. But most of the time, sometimes I say, guys, call us, all right. But nicknames and, and capoeira, I'm taking time for that. You know, just. Don't bug me with that. It, it it will come. Just prove yourself. Come to the training. Train. I want to see you grow. I want to, I want to um, want to know you, and and to have a name for you to that fits the person, and um, and yeah, and it, to 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 this day it it helps. But I also wanted to ask you and if you have any tips um, how to approach that to give nicknames and what what's your meaning about millennials are yeah spirit uh i think this is the right approach is the same thing i do sometimes people go my students go two or three years with no nickname you mm. know just be patient it's gonna come yeah it has to be for me it has to be something special yeah. and respectful mm -hmm. meaningful so i always carry those three elements right it has okay. to be meaningful yeah it has to be something that you is, is respectful not a nickname that people are gonna make fun about it mm -hmm. right and it has to be something that uh you know it's gonna be with you for for a long time so it cannot be this thing like oh you look like a banana and i was like oh <laughs> banana I said, it's not okay you yeah. know it's just not okay so i i think uh, i tell people just wait wait i go when i travel say, we need a nickname for this course i said i don't know this person I, is that I, I, right I, yeah i don't know this course i just i just arrived yesterday mm -hmm. you know let me let me see through all the events if i catch if i catch something interesting yeah person likes to sing or likes to play whatever whatever so i'm not very crazy about the nickname process as far as like you have to do the name no mm -hmm. sometimes it bothers me during events that people Okay, everybody, we need a nickname for the sports. I'm like, a couple of events, if you're not careful, it can be very boring if it's too long. Yeah. If you stretch it. So, if, and if you're not careful, sometimes people spend 10 or 15 minutes or needs a student to get a nickname. And all these masters and teachers, oh, this, blah, blah, blah. No, no, this is going to happen. And then it's like, mm -hmm. no, come on, guys. Like, so I don't, I, my advice is like, wait yeah you're gonna catch something you're gonna catch something and then you they need to put it but it has to be meaningful and respectful yeah yeah but if but for foreigners even if you uh, maybe want to name somebody something find a mentorship mm -hmm. find a mastery a brazilian person says look what do you think about this name this person likes to uh, one problem I have is the adjective, like, oh, this person runs every day. Corredor. Corredor. Oh, oh, yeah, all the nouns, right? <laughs> yeah. Put pé de vento. You know, put pé de vento. You know, zoom, pé de vento. There's many, many names you can, you can put to that person. You can give that name to that person according to what he or she does, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, this place plays guitar. Tocador. No, not tocador. <laughs> no, not tocador. It's so poor. It's yeah. so poor. Put yeah. do, 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 re, mi. You know, do, re, mi. Do, re, mi. You ah, know, yeah, put yeah. paleta. The little paleta but when you play the guitar. Yes. There's so many, many things you can do, but, but foreigners don't, don't know. Mm -mm. In some ways, it's not their fault, but it's also their fault because they don't research. 
you know, ask somebody. You, you must know somebody in the community, a Brazilian person, even that person is not a capoeirista, but she's a Brazilian person. Say, hey, you know, what do you think, what, what is his name here? What do you think about his name? Yeah. That's my advice. You know, just, just talk to somebody, ask, but find somebody, find something, it has to be meaningful. Yeah. It has to be something that person is gonna like and is not disrespectful. But Brazil is also bad in spirit. Brazilians mm. like to play too much. Yeah. And sometimes they come up with a nickname that is not respectful. And I feel like, why are you doing yeah. that? Because they want to have fun. Yeah. No, no, don't don't do that. Just you know, be be more careful. Because sometimes it can be a racist nickname, mm -hmm. can be something about your gender, can be something about your body type. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, maybe 30 years ago, people didn't know much, people follow the institution, you know, a racist society, and people don't have the power, the voice to say, no, I, this nickname is horrible. Same thing with Mute Contigas, you know, we're going yeah. to get there. Yeah. So don't accept it. Also, it happens more outside. When you give a nickname, when I say you in general, uh, people give a nickname to somebody, a, a, a very heavy name, like Zumbi. Mm -hmm. Zumbi yeah. is a big nickname, it's a big yeah. name, you know. Are you sure you're gonna, I mean, seriously, it, you know, I, so those names I don't, ma don't mess with. Like African gods, Oshossi, what's your nickname, Oshossi? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oshossi. And why, though? Right. You know, why? Something else, like Oshossi yeah. is usually the, the goddess of the hunter, Hunters, you know, the, yeah. the, the forest yeah. and you hunt. I have a, a my beautiful friend here, great, great capoeirista from Essebamba. His nickname is Caçador. I think it's from, I think, in, in, because he's from Bahia. I think it's our Shoshi son. What a nice nickname, Caçador. Okay, you, you can put Flasher, you can put all kinds of stuff, but not the name of the god, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So imagine I come to, to Capoeira Hall, what's your, your nickname? Jesus. <laughs> oh, really? Muhammad. Whoa, 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 wait. No, 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 stop it. No. So that, that's why I'm very careful and skeptical with nicknames or people themselves research yeah. the ego prevailing and they come with a very nice nickname <laughs> because they want something to make, that's going to make themselves feel good. Yeah. What's the nickname? Obatala. Oh my God. I mean, what? What? Who? Olorun. What? Who gave this nickname to you? Oh, no, I, I like it. I, I researched it. I, really? Yeah. So, I mean, is the ego prevailing? Mm -hmm. you, you name yourself something big, you know, it's like, I'm a zombie. So, well, no, you're not a zombie. No. You're John, you know. <laughs> you're just John. We'll yeah. find your nickname at the time, time goes, your behavior, how how you help people in class or how you play, how you, something's gonna come up yeah. and we're gonna come with a new name. Other than that, the other part is choose. I mean, we have Messi Moraes, Messi Pastinha, Messi Durandi, Messi, you know, so, uh, Messi João Grande, I mean, how crazy are you gonna go with the nicknames, right? Yeah. You, don't, you don't have to yeah. be like, Oh my God, I have to give a nickname to this person. Just, just let, let them sit a little while, you know? Mm -hmm. So the nicknames, the other aspect is like during Malta time, yeah. the Malta time in Rio was brutal. It was really, yeah. really brutal. Mm -hmm. Malta against Malta. Malta. And I think, <laughs> I think <laughs> my, my own research, I think the, because Capoeira in Rio was, was more towards Luta, right? There's nobody in yeah. Bao. And they and they brought the legacy of the Maltas. Mm. Caputo was dangerous, yeah. very very dangerous. And a lot of a lot of people from the army, a lot of people from the elite, they were they were teaching Caputo in, in very fancy high level clubs. You know, they're yeah. teaching Caputo, Ginástica Brasileira, mm -hmm. Caputo, and they they established championships. They had to like have meetings to cut down certain certain golpes, certain techniques because yeah. they're very dangerous. Uh -huh. Kapoor is very nice dangerous. Fights. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so Kapoor is very dangerous. So there's no being about, was about fight. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of influence from Jiu Jitsu, from Judo, from Savate, from wrestling. Uh, so Kapoor in real brought the legacy of the Maltas. Kapoor Siozinho is very famous for being like a yeah. fighter. Kapoor yeah. Siozinho, you know. And then 
you know, and by years on the story, but I think Malthus is to blame for the violence of Capoeira in Rio. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so there were very famous Malta leaders who yeah. the police wanted them. Mm. And then comes a nickname. Sometimes those guys had four nicknames. Yeah. You couldn't catch them. Oh. You know, you couldn't catch them. So I feel like, okay, I'm not a criminal, so I don't want a, I don't need a nickname. No. No. <laughs> But did, did you have did you ever had a nickname in, in Capoeira? No, my name is Itaborá, yeah. and he came Itaborá. So my master, he, of course, he wants he wants always to be on top of things. Like, oh, you your name is very ugly, so it's going to be your nickname. So, oh, thank you, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, so, I, there's a lot of people in Capoeira that don't use their Capoeira name, just the, just their normal name, and. Yeah, I, I, can, I come from time, it's, I learned that, yeah, Capoeira, is, yeah, the nickname is a part of Capoeira, but nowadays, sometimes see Capristas just using their own names. Yeah. Or they used to have a nickname, but they switch group and they're using their normal name, you know? So I think they, right now, there's a lot of liberties you can make now with the Capoeira nicknames, you know? And I also do for myself more research than a couple of years ago, years ago, I do much more research about giving names uh, to, to people, you know, because like you said, I hope it will fit the person and not to offend that person or offend somebody else, you know? Exactly, exactly, that's exactly. The, yeah. yeah. I think that's the, that's the best approach. I, I, I mean, I'm, I have a little advantage on this area because I'm from Brazil and I read a lot, I study yeah. a lot, culture, the African diaspora, so I, I try to get something, maybe <clears throat> nothing even to do with a person's personality, but it's a nickname that's meaningful. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's a meaningful nickname. Maybe it has an African orange and mm -hmm. we translate, oh my God, oh, thank you so much. You know, it's just a nice word. It's not something that people are going to go to the port hard one day and people, oh my God, you know, they may have a, a they'll approach you differently because you have a nickname that's not nice. Exactly, you know? yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I think there's, uh, especially foreigners, and, and not, it's people who are teaching recently, they may feel like, oh, you know, now I teach capoeira, I'm representing now this art, and I wanna make sure I do everything right, and I wanna nickname everybody because it's part of the tradition. Oh, calm, calm, no. <laughs> yeah. Take your time, Just yeah. research more, ask questions, but, but I do advise everybody because we have here, uh, this person uh, writes for a newspaper, escritora, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, escritora, pintora, trabalhadora, all this, <laughs> you know, it's too much. Yeah. Find more something that's really cool, but not the person's profession. True. You know. He runs every morning, corredor. No, no. <laughs> he, he swims every morning, nadador. No. nadador. <laughs> yeah, it's it's too easy. It's too easy, you know. Yeah. And yeah. I know if you're not a if you're a foreigner, if you're not a Brazilian, and you're not you you're new to the craft of giving nicknames. Uh, like you said, you know, as as a Brazilian, as a teacher who has this kind of knowledge about it, and don't be afraid to ask. Even I ask a lot of, still ask a lot of stuff uh, to my master or my other friends. Oh, what do you think about this? Or how should I approach this? Because if you never, if you never ask, you will never learn, you never develop. You know, I'm, we are still learning. I'm, I'm, I'm a student of the Brazilian art. The, I'm the student, of, I'm still students, you know, even though I'm a teacher, but I consider myself a student of the Brazilian culture of capoeira and of life. And, and who am I to say, oh, I know everything. I'm not gonna ask, no, that's egocentric. That's being Too pretty much. stupid. Too much. It's being stupid, you know? Too much. Oh, yeah. You know, spiritual. Uh, I mean, I like this conversation because I'm like that. I'm 65, right? Yeah. I've been, play I've been playing drums since I was 10 years old. I went cool. to a couple of house and I started playing drums, 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 drums. I did some initiations. I have a facility, I don't know why, but I have a facility with rhythms. 
I yeah. pick up most of the time. Mm -hmm. I, I drive a taxi cab. I'm a taxi driver, so I'm always cool. on the on the steering wheel to yeah, go, yeah. go to the other time. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I know everything. No way. Mm -hmm. I'm always sharpening some simple notes. I take a bit in ball class. I mean, do I need to? Yes, I need to. Mm. Some people, oh no, but you're 65, you're playing drums or no, 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 no. But there's always something yeah. that knows more than up. you. Exactly. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter their age. I no. take class with Mestre Moreira, I take class, I took class with James Birimbal, cool. uh, Rafael, I took class with I'm taking class with Messi Lucas de Santo Amaro. Cool. It's just amazing. Yeah. And if you a little sometimes if you, I can I can see them a little embarrassed with me because they're much younger than I am. I said, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm very blue. I'm yeah. very blue. Show me again. Show yeah. me again. But you have to be humble. Yeah. It's surrender to the process of there's always something new to be learned. And always. There's, always, there's always somebody doing something that may be longer than you. Mm -hmm. And of course, they know more. Yeah. It's beautiful. I spend six, seven hours driving a cab, a taxi. Yeah. yeah. Matt Moreira he spent seven hours playing Birimbao. Well, it makes sense for me to learn from yeah. him. If he comes to Oakland and he gets lost, then I'll tell him what to do. No, 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 turn right here. To me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's really true. You have to be open minded, yeah. humble, humble to, to understand that there's so much to be learned. Yeah. Every couple of hours, I just told you half an hour ago. Even though it's here on my backyard, I always learn something new. I pay attention mm -hmm. when people buy the game, how the other person buys, how the, how they hold the beating bow. It's, it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. You know, one, one of the metaphors I use, analogy, spiritual. You don't have to do that, but you can do just for fun and tell others. Yeah. So when I look here to the ceiling, right? I'm sitting down here, and I look to the tattoo. I look to the ceiling. Yeah. So my eyes are right here, but I can see there's a light right there, and there's a window right here. There's a window in front of me. Okay? Yeah. So from this angle, I can see a bigger landscape. And mm -hmm. I feel like, okay, wow. Between this point to those points, I need to travel and learn mm. how that light was installed, how that window was installed. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, if I get a ladder and I go all the way to the top <laughs> and I turn, <laughs> all I'm going to see is this. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Yeah. All I see is right here. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I know everything. My God, no, you don't. You don't. You know? oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's like um, I had a, a chat with a contemporary mascot and he was like, you have to. You have to widen your lens about uh, seeing stuff, but also for capoeira. Widen your lens and to be open to learn a lot of new stuff. Even though it doesn't matter if you're a teacher or have a high degree or something, there's always a, a window that you can learn and, and pick some new things up. Massively, I learned a lot from my own students. I tell them every time when I'm teaching, I learn a lot of from you guys as well because yeah, that's how that's how it goes. I will teach, exactly. but they will give something to me to, to, to me back, and I will I will learn it. I will learn from my mistakes. Okay, uh, this I will do, don't do it again. So we you keep developing, keep developing. But if you're not open-minded for it, if you just do this, you know, you will you will not learn. And those kind of people are clamoring for, and hating for yeah. I want to be uh, high going higher up, but yeah, but you are not learning new stuff. You're not open-minded, you yeah. know? And yeah. Yeah. that's why I really love to, that's why I'm also doing this, to oh. learn, you know? Yeah, to yeah. learn, because I really want to learn for every, every story and every approach. And, and, yeah. um, and that's up to me what I'm going to do with it, you know? What I'm exactly, going to do with it. exactly, yeah. It, it maybe something that I said is going to fit. Yeah. With the structure you're presenting to your students and to your life, or maybe not. That's fine. Yeah. Use what you can, but don't 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 trash the other part. No, no. Just put it in a corner, no, no. because maybe down the line you may come up with somebody who 
is going to bring a conversation that you, ah, oh, remember top of the Taborah, he mentioned yeah. that. Maybe you can use that to ask this course about yeah. this. Yeah. So everything is useful. It's like a big shelf and you put all your stuff there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Master Primo was here last month. Yeah. And then we're talking and it's just, it's just fascinating to, to, to read his mind, to see how his approach to capoeira, yeah. his approach to the game. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's not like, oh, I don't need to listen to Primo, I'm 65. No, I need to listen oh. to everybody. Yeah. Because everything counts. People's perspectives cannot be ignored. You know, no, no. even if you think they're wrong, it's just like that's how they see right now. You know, mm -hmm. and I don't want to interfere with that. No. Oh. There's a process. There's a process of growth. Mm -hmm. And eventually that person will learn something, but it's not up to me to say, hey, don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't ignore that person's perspective. It's going to help you to yeah. understand people. You yeah. Know? You have to Steer the the people in a in a you know, in a in a right direction instead of just you know cutting them out cutting them off. But no, it's just steer them, just like capoeira, like the flow. Steer them in the yeah. direction, make the yeah. awu, you know, make the melu esquiva. Those kind of things make the conversation steering instead yeah. of just cutting off or give the benzo or martello. Yeah. It's like that, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Really yeah, wise yeah. work, Nasty. Really wise. Oh. I'm really still learning. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so how's, how's in Oakland, the, the capoeira there? You already mentioned, you know, the Bay Area. Uh, I've, I've talked with several masters from there, and they keep, keep saying it's really big community. Uh, yeah, how, how's that, that compared to, you know, from Rio, where you're, where you're from? Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, really, there's no comparison. <laughs> Okay. No <laughs> it's just we have the best capoeira group ever which is bay area capoeira you know so we have here again I'm, I'm, I, I like numbers i like to play with the numbers you know yeah. very well we have three elements here we have quality maturity yeah. and respect nice you know we have amazing players here masters with caliber we have Messi aldo de bahia from sao paulo we have Caçador from Bahia. We have Shipa from Jingamundo, uh, Mestre Sabiá. Yeah. So we have quality. We have also uh, the, the ladies here are amazing players. They just... So there's a lot of respect mm -hmm. among mm -hmm. ourselves. We understand that participation is key for the art to grow and be exciting yeah. to everybody. Control of our ego is very key mm -hmm. yeah. for the art to spread in a positive way. And then, uh, yeah, so we have respect, maturity, but all these players, you know, we, they are on the field for a long, long time. We have Mestre Sabia from Capoeira Luanda, Mestre Gelon. Yeah. We have Mestre Cruta from, from Mestre Codion, nice. uh, yeah. Radio Verde. So the community is, is big, Yeah. but we, we, we do differently. Mm. You know, we do a lot of events, yeah. we have an agreement that we need to participate in everyone's event. Okay. So we really, there's no conflict with the calendar. We check, we have a group here, and we need to check the calendar. Yeah. So I'm going to do a, a uh, Capone encounter July 26, for example. Oh, my yeah. God. The spirit is doing something that day. No, I'm yeah. going to move to another date. Yeah, yeah. We have that respect. That's cool. so important. Beautiful. So we don't have a conflict of calendar. No. There's two events the same day. No, zero now. So there is uh, here. There's a, a lake called Lake Merritt. Mm -hmm. We have a capoeira water going there that everybody goes. Everybody goes. A lot of capoeiristas go there, and it's beautiful. It's fun once a month. Then we have a roda in Santa Cruz, which is about an hour and a half from here yeah. by the beach, yeah. with Messi Aldo de Bahia, his wife uh, Negorinho. Uh, beautiful. Uh, somebody's front yard, the Quintal. Yeah. And it's Badiação for three hours, then feijoada. Wow. Somebody hold the traditional with the, with the skirts. Beautiful. Really, really keep the tradition alive. Yeah. So we have a roda once a month. Then we have a roda. There's uh, three important members of the community. Uh, Foquinha, uh, Bailarina and Borracha. They have their roda going on for a little over 10 years now. Nice. It's all over the community. Yeah, here in Oakland. 
uh, also once a month. Mm -hmm. And then they have uh, one hoda in Walnut Creek once a month. So there's every, every weekend there's a hoda. Yeah. Wow. And everybody goes. Then every three months or four months, I do Bay Bay Area Vajando. Yeah. Bay Area Vajando is like it's my baby. I cool. mean, it's a dream that I had like 15 years ago to 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 fight against the group thing. Ah, because what I noticed here, every every event I went, to spiritual, there was nobody there. Very, yeah, we have we have the local people, you know, the yeah. hosts, Capoeira X, mm -hmm. and their students, but nobody from outside. One mm -hmm. or two people said, so "Why?" Yeah. Because the group was like, "No, I don't want to go there because the group X and X." But it's not about the group. Mm. It's about Capoeira and helping that person with the event. Yeah. Event, event has a lot of costs. Every event has cost, no matter how big or small they are. Exactly. So I told my wife, like, man, I want to do something one day, like uh, Movimento Novo, mm. uh, Vadeia Sampa, yeah. no banners, no, no banners, just plain clothes like this, yeah. Yeah. no titles, no, no titles. It's the Espírito and Itaborá, let's play yeah. Capoeira. And I talked to some masters and people liked the idea, but nobody did anything. I said, okay, expect it. I will do it. Yeah. So I did the first Bay Area Vajando, in 2013, I invite everybody, I send emails like, look, it's not about imposing your style. Mm -hmm. It's not about coming to your ego. It's not about your title. It's about capoeira, vajação, normal clothing, and let's play and have fun. It's yeah. about respecting, accepting a technique, accept it. Somebody takes you down, it's clean and nice, shake mm -hmm. hands, volta ao mundo, try again. Nothing happens, nothing happens. Nothing has to happen. Exactly. Nobody has obligation to score. Anyways, we had one very close to my house, two blocks away, the first one. We had about 45 to 55 people, and they walk in the room like, what is this? You know? <laughs> Anyways, it grew to a point now we have like 150, wow. sometimes 200 people. The wow. whole community comes, and people play this like six, seven hodas live music and, and it's just fun people like you need to do this every month and i cannot do it every month mm -hmm. because there's a lot of hotels every month so let's do that every four yeah. months so there's a lot of i also sponsor the teachers encounter mm -hmm. uh the teachers encounter i do once a year yeah. and i sponsor everything i sponsor nice. the food the shirt the space and we sit around in a round table and we talk about what needs to be done uh for the community Participation. Yeah. Let's participate more. Let's let's teach the students that it's important to participate in people's events. Yeah. Let's do that. How about some marketing ideas? How about some ways of training your joints? Mm -hmm. So we do that once a year. We gather together. We have a, a, a round table. We talk. Then we eat, and, and that's it. We celebrate the life in Capoeira. Nice. So I think the Bay Area is is the, is, is is ahead of the game, you yeah. know, compared to other areas. Another another area that's it's very very good is is, is catching up with us and i hope they do because i want capoeira to be for everybody everywhere mm -hmm. is in los angeles with the capoeira exchange the capoeira exchange is also huge it is messing with tempo from Mestre main yeah uh saracuru capoeira brazil mestre in sabia uh so they be organizing that and it's it's beautiful it's just it's packed yeah. maybe over 200 people there wow. you know it's 10 hodas, nice. you know, and people play until they drop. It's That's really, wow. really fun. So Bay Area Espiritu, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's amazing. I don't need, I don't need to go anywhere. No. no. <laughs> invite me here. My God, I have everything in the Bay Area. Yeah, I nice. Have a beautiful community. I have, and I, of course, you know, it goes without saying, the, the ladies here, I have Buhash, I have Malagueta, I have uh, Amesha. We have uh, two chegas. Mm -hmm. We have Foquinha. I mean, yeah, they're just amazing. They nice. have Polycomi. There's, 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 there's so much balance. Mestre Chico Moraes is here too. He moved last year. Uh, he used to teach in Russia. Amazing player. So Mestre Mascara. It's a very rich community. But there's so much respect. Yeah. People get amazed. How, 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 how is it possible with so many groups, you guys find a balance? But just like... We meet, we talk, yeah. we know we have to respect, we yeah. know the ultimate goal is capoeira, you know. 
So yeah, be yours and There's only one group here that never join and participate, and that's okay. Yeah. Is that how they see it? That's how they see it's it. It's fine. No problem. Right. Yeah. You know, it's it's really, really fine. But we've been exciting um, a lot of beginners. We're exciting people who already drink up water. Uh, they have been exciting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. I hope maybe one day I can join the Bay Area. <laughs> you will. Nice. You will. You will. will. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You come here for an event, say for the Vajihandu. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll work on something about that. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And you're going to feel the. You're gonna feel the power of the law. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play an event where you can come. Maybe you can come when we have a Vajiando on on the last weekend of the month because the Santa Cruz order is on the last Sunday of the month. Ah, okay. So you come to the Vajiando yeah. and then you go to the Santa Cruz order. You, you're gonna go like, oh my god. Oh, you know, it, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing bring you back to the Netherlands is gonna be your family and your family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Nasri, <laughs> really, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for your stories. I've learned a lot. It's such an honor to talk with you. Like I said at the beginning, I I know you quite a while. <laughs> and and to be able to, you know, to talk with to chat with you and talk about Capoeira, it's one of my dreams come to come true, man. Thank you very much. Well, Muito obrigado. Well, thank you, Professor Spirit. Thank you for the opportunity. I don't take anything for granted. I'm a little guy. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> a, a, a grain of sand under the, the, the you know, the, the ship under the sea. <laughs> but when somebody gives me the opportunity like this, I'm very thankful because I think, even though I'm very humble and, and I, I believe in humility, I, I think I do have something to offer yeah. for the community. So, and you, you promoting that with me being here. So thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome. that. Come. The All right. message. And let's keep in touch off, yes. off this. So maybe one day you can come exactly. here and feel, you, and feel the Bay Area. Yes. That's the All best. right. <laughs> All right, man. Awesome. Thank you very, have very a nice much. Day. You too. You too. All Sleep right, well. Man. Thank yes. you. Bye-bye, man. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.